Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs. Welcome back to my 1.9 snapshot creative world. Welcome to the Ender Fort. And today, as you can see in my left hand, I have something very, very exciting to show you. Mojang have released Snapshot 15W33C and shields have been introduced to Minecraft. This is a very, very cool feature and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Right, so this in my hand is a blue shield. You'll notice shields come in a variety of colors. That's actually all the colors of wool in the game. And I will show you how that works in a second but right now they are rectangular in shape there have been a lot of calls for Mojang to release different kind of shapes of shields so it'll be interesting to see if those turn up in a future release but for now they are rectangular and they are doing a fantastic job of being that way right now I'm going to put that in the slot over there just so I can show you guys how to craft a shield and this is all the ingredients you will need it is three wool three planks of any color, of any type of wood, and a single iron ingot. Now this might seem like quite a basic crafting recipe to you guys, and that is probably because Mojang want the shields to be available very early in the game, because they have changed a little bit about the way combat works. Now you'll notice that Right now, this takes a durability hit, and that depends on the color of wool you're using. Right now, if you craft a, a white shield, it will take 15 durability off the maximum 180. Right now, I'm crafting a red shield, it's only taking one. So there's obviously a couple of bugs they still need to work out with these. They have taken pains to point out that this is still a very, very new feature. Nothing has been balanced. Everything could be up for change. So we'll probably see a future snapshot release where things have been altered with these a little bit. But you'll see that you can swap them in and out of your offhand very easily. And this is where you'll want them to be for attacking and defending. Because if they're in your main hand, all you can do is defend. You can't really attack because your main hand isn't free for a sword or a bow. You'll notice that sword blocking has been taken out of the game completely. You can no longer right click. I'm right clicking now and the sword is not blocking for me. So shields are going to be essential for defense against mobs, against other players, against pretty much everything. Now I'm going to pop these shields. Oh, that one needs to come out of my offhand first. Still not used to the fact that the offhand slot isn't available when you're in chest inventory. So I do hope they will change that in future. In fact, I'm going to keep that on me because I have something else to show you shortly. But I've got a white shield in here and the banner that I designed for DV Radio, which is now the banner of the Ender Fort, and you'll notice that if you put this in a crafting table and add the banner next to it, it decorates the shield. Now, the shield design is not going to come out exactly the same as the banner design right now. You do get to keep the banner, which is quite a nice feature, but this is the banner. You can see I've got one in my hand right now, and this is the shield, which is a little bit unfortunate. It hasn't kept the detail of the original banner design, and that is because the area of a shield is not the same as the area of a banner. At least the area that has the design on it is has that pixel border around it, so it's trying to compress the banner image into something that will fit on a shield, and it's not doing a fantastic job of that so far. So if you have a more intricate banner design, like stuff like this especially, it's going to be very difficult for your design to show up on a shield right now. So hopefully they will do some work towards correcting that for when shields are officially added to the 1.9 release of the game. So the maximum durability for a shield is 180, and Right now, it takes the amount of damage that you take if you would be taking heart hits. So it's not going to take one durability off every time you get hit by a zombie. It's probably going to take more like five or six because that's how many hearts damage you would take. I have not yet tested if this changes depending on your difficulty setting. So if mobs do more damage on a different difficulty setting, I don't know if that does more damage to your shield, but that will be interesting to test out. Right now they can't be enchanted in an enchantment table. If you add it to the enchantment table here, you'll see that it cannot be enchanted in any way. The options don't even appear, even if you have lapis in the table. And the only thing you can do with them right now is use an anvil. In, you can do this in survival. This isn't a creative thing. You can do this in survival and you can add unbreaking three to it or any kind of unbreaking enchantment right now. And I do not know if this actually affects anything because right now you notice it doesn't have the enchantment sheen. It doesn't really register to that as an enchantment so it will be interesting to see if the durability is protected somewhat by the fact that you have unbreaking three on the shield now um, an armor stand will need arms to hold shields and that is something i really hope they implement some kind of feature where you can add arms to armor stands in regular vanilla survival because i've got to be honest armor stands holding shields and if they could hold a sword in the left hand as well which they currently can't because you can only add stuff to the right hand if you're not using commands 
having armor stands with arms holding swords and shields in the game would look so cool so i really really want them to implement some kind of feature that will allow us to make armor stands like this in survival but i've had to spawn this one in using commands in creative right now shields do not interact with regular joe armor stand in any way shape or form so hopefully they will do something about that in future now as a builder, I was very, very keen to see how shields look in item frames because if you put a banner in an item frame like so, it's kind of got these clock positions that it goes in. It's got eight of those, obviously. That's the amount of rotations you can have with an item frame. But the banner sticks in the top of the item frame and moves around like that as though it's the hands of a clock. And I was expecting shields to do something similar. Instead, they appear in the sort of left-hand side. They're sort of slightly left oriented and they rotate around like this now this isn't exactly what i expected at all but it's kind of interesting to see how this could be implemented for some kind of detail build now you'll notice that the item entity itself actually has a handle on the back so these will stick out from the side of something and if you put like a sign over this or something like that it will appear through the sign if you add items on the front of this that will normally poke out from the top of an item frame this would do it as well so it's going to be really interesting to see how you could implement these for some kind of detail build, but you could put them over the front of a doorway as gems, kind of like this. It'll be really interesting to see some creative uses of this. So I look forward to seeing how that one will be implemented in the game and if item frames and shields still interact this way when the full release of shields comes out. So... I think it's time to test this out, don't you? I think what I will do is I'll go back into creative, I'll spawn a bunch of mobs, we'll set it to nighttime for a bit of atmosphere, and I will show you guys how shields work in combat. So I hope that demonstration gave you a quick idea of what shield combat is going to be like. I took a little bit of damage, but I think that's more me being bad at combat than anything else. So you'll notice the shield has taken a bit of damage as well. And to repair that, what we can do is combine it in an anvil with wooden planks. Because the shield is mainly made up of wood, combining it in an anvil with wood will allow you to repair the shield so it can be back in action and you can keep your banner design on your shield although I kind of hope that I can keep a better banner design than this that is going to be everything for this video thank you very much for watching my name has been Pixel Riffs please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more tutorials snapshot videos and Minecraft fun and I will see you guys soon bye for now